Hello, welcome to Crystal Core Skills. In this video, we are going to take a look at lines and angles. These are the two common features of geometry and uh, you cannot do anything almost in mathematics without lines and angles and curves and circles. They're very, very important and geometry provides us uh, with these features. So in this video, we are going to take a look at uh, what a line is and what an angle is. You know, um, circle, circle was discovered sometimes back in 1900 BC, according to uh, Hermes the scribe, uh, who came up with a document called the Rhine uh, Papyrus, which contained information about uh, mathematics or mathematical. Uh, discoveries that took place uh, during the ancient time. So <laughs> I'm not going to go into the history again, but um, we know that the same people from Egypt, you know, or Mesopotamia are the ones who actually came up with the idea of circles, lines, and angles, and you know. So we are going to take a look at what a line is and what an angle is, and this will help us to define other shapes, obviously, of uh, uh, of the geometry, the shapes that we need in geometry to work with different kind of problems. So. According to uh, the Mesopotamian astronomers, if you like, um, a line, as we discussed previously, is just uh, a link between two points. The moment you know one point and, an, and another point, you can just join them to form a line. And uh, this other possibility, <laughs> obviously, like when you have a point outside the line, uh, you are likely to uh, have some lines which intersect with the current line. So what happens when the intersection take place or when two lines intersect? Obviously, uh, an angle will be formed <laughs> and that's how angle comes about. But what is angle? <laughs> so let us try to look at what an angle really is. Um, assuming we have a line there, and this one is a point, and this is another point. So joining these two points forms a line segment, if you like, because when you extend that bit, you go to infinity, and when you extend that bit, you go to infinity. So we are not going to work with the infinity, obviously, we're going to work with the segment with the line, so I'm not going to put the R at the end to show the infinity, because like, are we working without stopping? <laughs> That's why I decided to just decide to keep it cool. I'm just going to keep the segment, the line. So in most of my drawing of the line, you will not see the arrows because uh, we want to be definitive uh, rather than going infinite, uh, you know. So um, let, let's see. Um, now, when this, when you have another, another point here and uh, when when you draw a line or lines passing through this point, as long as these lines are not parallel to the original line, there's possibility that at some point, on that side or that side, for example, that one can meet this line at some point and this one can meet at some point. So the line will eventually intersect, provided that they are not parallel. So when these two lines, when two lines intersect, obviously we will get what is known as an angle. So what is an angle? So an angle is a point where two lines intersect. And you can look at it as being that part of the circle is the percentage proportion of the circle that is required to be closed by two lines. And when that part of the circle is enclosed by two lines, we get what is known as an angle. And an angle is measured in degrees. In degrees. And these degrees are the smallest unit of that part of the circle, the smallest unit of that part of the circle between the two lines. When you split them, you get the smallest unit 
and you can call them degree. And that degree, when you split it again, you measure them using the time. That's why we have uh, the minutes and the seconds. So when you split the degree, you get the second, I mean the minutes. And then when you split the minutes, you get what is called the seconds, which, uh, which may be referred to as the second arc or the minute arc forming the degree, which is the angle. So <laughs> that's why we have the clock like this. You know, you have the clock like 12, uh, 9, 6, and, uh, uh, okay, it says 12, 1, 2, 3, 3, and 9. You have a clock like that. So every minute here is forming an angle. And every minute is formed because of the seconds. After 60 seconds, a minute is formed and that minute forms an arc part of that arc of the circle which sustains an angle and that my friend what is what an angle is an angle is a part of the circle that are enclosed by two lines to form some kind of units of degrees and the units of degrees is measured in uh, in minutes and seconds thank you for viewing and i hope this video has been informative i will see you obviously in the next video and uh, please don't go away let's enjoy the sweetness of mathematics thank you